Hello, everybody, and welcome to my farming simulator 2015 Fire Group. My name is Tim Osmer. I am the group owner, creator, uh, I, and I run most of the group with the help of the Bear Mountain County Sheriff's Department. We are a small farming group. We are looking for firefighters, EMTs, and deputy sheriffs. We currently have two positions available for deputy sheriffs, possibly more. We are a pay uh, full time plus a volunteer department. We currently have three officers uh, that are with us right now. We are in desperate need of volunteer firefighters. If you are mod hunting, this is not the group for you. You need not even attempt to apply. We'll do a thorough background check, uh, contacting other groups, other participants, uh, checking us if that's all you're after. If we find out that's all you want, your application will be denied. Please do not apply if you are just here for mod. However, if you love the game, you love being a firefighter, and you want to join, the description for our Facebook page will be in the link below. Feel free to uh, click on it, join, and officer will contact you uh, forthwith, or watch the posts for meetings, upcoming meetings, and uh, team speak address. Again, uh, my name is John Osmer. I am the fire chief and the creator of this group. Uh, these mods are private by joining this group. You agree that all mods are private and you will not release them. That is a stipulation to everything. It will also be voice recorded. We don't play with that. If that's what your intentions are. Again, do not apply. Uh, so without any further delay, I will go ahead and go through uh, the two stations that we currently have. Station 138, Station 238. Uh, talk a little bit about the trucks. Uh, explain to you what's going on and how things work here. So, welcome to East Windsor, Monster Fire Department, and Bear Mountain County Sheriff's Department. Uh, the first station we're at here is uh, Station 138. Uh, it is our primary paid department, full time. Uh, once we have enough members, it will be staffed to roll pretty much every truck, out, every essential truck out of the bay. ASAP. The two vehicles that you see in front of you with flashing lights, the one on the left, uh, I'm sorry, the one on the right is Deputy is Sheriff Brandon Kaufman's car. Uh, he is the head of the Sheriff's Department and in charge of the County Utilities Department. The car on the right is our Under Sheriff, Scott McCormick. He is our canine officer and second in command of the Sheriff's Department. Uh, my assistant chief is currently Arthur Weston. My next officer is Lieutenant uh, Captain uh, Dr Hunter Draper. Uh, so we're going to get the doors open. So I can show you a little bit about what we have here. Uh, and then we'll take a ride down to Station 2. Now, not all these bays are full. Uh, just for the sake of fact, we're trying to eliminate a lot of the lag. All these trucks are custom built for us, um, sometimes by us, based on what we're looking for. First truck I'm going to show you is one of our pride and joys. Um, this is the T-138. It is a fully engine tanker. It carries approximately $2,500 of water with a working deck gun. And when I say working, I do mean working. It will rotate. It will rotate, raise and lower. Uh, some of the light features on it. We have uh, a traffic visor in the back, which also is flashed, obviously. Um, there is no exterior hoses, but well, we have found that it causes an extreme amount of lag in this game. Um, this is one of my fire trucks. Uh, that's the first two out. The second one we have here is engine 138. Uh, we also have another one down to station 2, I believe. I think the uh, same engine, just 238. Uh, this is an engine. It is by, uh, I do believe these are, this one and that one over there are HMEs. Uh, I'm saying these, I'm not quite sure. Um, this is uh, an engine that we have in our lineup. Um, not as much light on it, but still a very capable and uh, well worthy truck. Um, it's a beautiful piece of apparatus, uh, and we absolutely love it. The next truck I'm going to show you is our Tower 138. Um, this is one of our second pride and joys of the fleet. It is a fully operational tower. The tower does blow up. Um, we have a road around the front. Lots of trucks up and running. The rudder started up. 
You cannot climb this truck. Um, we are currently in the process of working on getting one that you can. The next truck up is into 538. Uh, this is a custom built truck for us um, by me. Uh, it's not as glamorous as the first two that you've seen, but she does her job. Uh, this is a stock engine from Pierce. Uh, very beautiful truck. We also have some that are currently not here. We have a hazmat unit and a, uh, another engine 438. Uh, over here we have our heavy duty rescue truck. Um, this is our pride rescue, as we call it here. Uh, she's capable with hazmat, uh, interior passengers plus uh, cat passengers. Um, she will do anything you ask her to do. Very durable, durable truck. Works out great. A lot of rescue equipment on board. Uh, your board. All right, over here we have two of three medics uh, that are currently in play, and then we have our uh, ALS sprint truck, or EMS Sprint 138, as you call it. Uh, this is for ALS officers, uh, ALS personnel only. This is the paramedics unit. Uh, this primary this job for this truck is to respond uh, quickly and rapidly to assist a BLS unit 338 or 238 with uh, an ALS capability. Um, I'm sure, sure some of you recognize the truck. It is Mark's Rescue. Uh, this is our ALS ambulance. As you can see, say ALS on it. Um, this is our primary ALS unit. Yeah, you know, it's an ALS call, this is the one that's going to go, we're not going to send a BLS unit out on an ALS call. Um, some features that we've, oops, that we've done to this truck, um, I can't get into it, either one I get into, it's fine. Um, we have added the light on the roof uh, for helicopter landing, so I'm going to see these private games with helicopters, so I uh, opted for the helicopter lighting on it. Um, when I built it. It is very well detailed uh, in lettering. Uh, a lot of our trucks are going to start coming out with this high lettering capabilities. I like it. It stands out. It just makes the truck pop. This is Medic 338. 238 is at Station 2 and we'll get to that one here in just a little bit. Um, it is a BLS unit. Basic life support only. Uh, if it requires any type of advanced life support or anything like that, uh, we'll send a sprint truck or an ALS unit down there to, to meet them. Um, this is obviously our firehouse. Um, I'm sure some of you that have played are fully aware of this firehouse. We have a working kitchen. Uh, we're still trying to get a refrigerator in here and the fire is always on the TV. You guys love that. Um, we have our, oops, yep, our bunk room for our members. So that they can sleep. Um, my assistant chief's office, which is currently my assistant chief, is currently my lieutenant. My assistant chief had to step out for a little while. He had a problem with his computer, so he's just, my lieutenant bumped up my office. One out here, a POV, a POV, my lieutenant's car, and of course my vehicle. Uh, this is custom built for me and my department. Um, my truck is ALS capable. I am also an ALS officer. Um, I absolutely love this truck. I love the lighting package on it. This is, this is my girl. Uh, see around town here just a little bit. Uh, we do do all our map editing on our own. Uh, there is no outside map editing. We have to wait weeks and weeks and weeks for someone to get around to it. We do it all in game, uh, all on our own, uh, so we don't have to fuss with that. This is my towing service. I am the owner of the towing company. I have uh, currently two tow trucks in operation at this point. I have a uh, heavy rescue, a heavy tow truck, as well as a flatbed unit um, to tow the lighter stuff. I'm now seeing a little stupid at this point. Here's Parmesan monitor the roads uh, quite well. 
matter of fact, they, uh, they're not bashful about pulling anybody over right down to including me. Uh, they expect you to obey the rules of the road, even though it is a game. Drive to the guard when responding, volunteers are allowed by the sirens when permitted um, and warranted. Uh, this is our current hospital. We decided we're going to change up hospitals and look in here. Um, we feel that it's just a little extreme for what we're doing right now. So we're, we're in the process of editing some of these maps. Uh, this map is quite possibly going to a different one. We're working on one from scratch. Still no, consists of nothing for fire rescue. Um, sorry to hear my daughter in the background. Uh, but, uh, so we're constantly upgrading, updating the trucks, doing what we need to do to keep them operational, um, up to date with, with the current technology and logos and lighting packages. We have a few more in production that we're working on. This is the Fairmount County Sheriff's Department in the jail. Uh, this is the Justice Center. Yes, we have health pads uh, just about at every station and every, every hospital. Uh, the hospital has one. It's for private purposes only. Lord knows you can't get a helicopter to work in the game. Um, these are the other two units. Uh, we have two other sheriff's units and we also have a bomb trailer. Uh, arts investigation and stuff like that. The sheriff's bombing uses. They pretty much handle that. I am playing on my private server, on my private game. Uh, I am not on server. Start the server, you go through all that stuff. Uh, so we'll go ahead and run down to station two. Uh, the officers, we have Duck and Donuts, post office. Natalie! Uh, all the officers, head officers, have their own uh, farm that was pre set up. Uh, this is the sheriff's department, the sheriff's office farm. Mine's down the street here. Uh, as you can see, pretty much gathered me out. Um, there's plenty of places to live inside town and outside town. Um, yes, I agree. I don't care. There's no cops around. Uh, we meet quite regularly during the week and uh, most Saturdays we're going by my house now. So I my guy have to go to the again. this far down. Um, I usually have to just let my group, my guys handle it. Uh, if, you know, it warrants that I've got to come down or I will, but other than that, I'm not even going to. Uh, I try not to come down this far. Uh, I have very good officers on the department right now that I can trust to, to handle uh, the situation if it arises and if they really can handle it, then I'll be We are a very uh, open group. Uh, there are some things we have, and we also have very strict rules that we expect to be enforced, um, such as no cussing, no pornography. No, we don't appreciate that. We will be quickly dismissed for disobeying that rule. Radio traffic, when we're on a call, is down to their minimum. Uh, I shouldn't hear it. I don't want to hear it. Um, it's just not permitted. Uh, Officers for officers, officers all are often listened to all non-officer members without getting prior permission to go into into them. Um, that's just in case we're in there talking about something important. We don't need to be butting into the conversation or hearing something that you should. This is our training facility. We have a blackout building, roof simulator, um, tower, burn building, couple of cars, wrecks. We do train quite often. Um, I am not bashful about training at all. So, I want, I like my guys to be up to date with uh, exactly what is going on, and uh, I want, I want to know that they're fully aware of what's going on. Alright, this is Medic 238, and again, there's an ELS unit, um, she, uh, she handles all the basic stuff. Like the other one, search on the AC at the other station. We do up, we did up for two tankers in this department, in this station. We have tanker 130 and tanker 238. Don't ask me which one is which, right off the top of my hand, I'll give it to you. Yeah, 138 is over here on my right. 
you feel you can lay that. Because this is such a rural area, and there's not a lot of hydrogen space out here, um, there, we opted for the extra tanker to do some wild shuttling back and forth. Uh, this is in the tanker 238, is uh, sitting on a Spartan chassis. Um, this is actually our first engine tanker that we uh, received. Um, she is a 2,500-gallon uh, tanker. Um, not much difference other than the spark cab. The tripod does work. Water does spray. Um, so she uh, she's the first two out of this station as well. Uh, then we have engine 238. Like I said before, we have two of these that were purchased same time, this is a K&E uh, chassis uh, with uh, a, a nice pump setup. Um, don't ask me what the wheels with the toupee and the cap, but okay. Um, she carries 5 inch, uh, 4 inch supply line, a couple of cross lays down here on the top, 2 inch cross lay, uh, 3 inch cross lay on the top. Uh, no working deck gun, this is our ladder 138 working ladder. Um, this is our first ladder trick that we had, we had ever purchased. Um, it is uh, again sitting on a Spartan cab. Um, we were doing a lot of Spartans at that point. We are slowly drifting away from Spartan and uh, start going to Pierce uh, and K&Me. Um, it is a very nice truck. She handles really well. We are looking at another Spartan um, with working collision on the ladder so we can actually climb it. But that's still in the works. There's nothing saying we're going to get it. This is engine 338. This is a small, quick attack unit. Um, she's maneuverable. This was our very first Spartan that we ever purchased uh, for this department. And I obviously we didn't physically buy it, but get it along the lines of where I'm going. Um, it's very slow, uh, small, so it's very quickly to maneuver, especially on the back end, backwards like we are here. That's why it's down here. High rise cap, plenty of uh, headroom for the guys in the back. All our trucks, except for that one, is uh, single passenger, just driver. We are working on the passenger scripts as we speak, um, and to see if we can't get them up and running here pretty quick. Um, if you notice, all of our plates on most of our trucks do say Bear Mountain, so no one has it yet. Um, because this is Bear Mountain County, so we did register them with Bear Mountain. Sorry, no excuse. This is Squad 138. This is a international four-door seater. It is a rescue engine. She is fully equipped, just like the two engine tankers, for rescue as well. This is sitting on a pump, a uh, puck chassis. The pump is right here behind the driver's, uh, driver's side cab. Uh, she also contains water and has a dump tank uh, in the front of the cab. Um, it does seat. So it'll seat to five, um, including the driver. Um, she's a very nice truck. She, uh, she'll roll and she's not bashful about it at all. Um, again, we are a very small community. We are looking for volunteers. This is our car 138 truck. Um, and then this is the Captain Draper's vehicle. Um, we, like I said, we are looking for members as we speak. Um, as long as you're not higher or just digging for mods, we have no problem with joining. If you're just here to get the mods and run, uh, I thank you, please don't even bother because we will know before you do. Um, we're just very good at that, making sure that joining the group is not going to hurt the group. We don't tolerate it, we don't tolerate mod releases, we don't tolerate mod stealing. Um, we'll be dealt with swiftly and bluntly. Won't put up with it. Nor do we wish to put up with it. Uh, so again, I go down the ditch. I thank you for watching. Uh, Paramount. Uh,
Fair Mountain County Sheriff's Department is with the Rollins Fire Department. Um, again, uh, feel free to apply at any time. The link will be in the description below. Uh, and I do appreciate your time and consideration for joining our department. Thank you and